getting things ready for the arrival of Seacam. And we're just getting ready to head out and open up our trails, get the stands ready. Cooler morning here today. You got everything you need? Yeah. Um, You're ready? Covered. Let me get a hat with some mash on it. Ready? Ready. times are we going to drive by the entrance to, into uh, beer bottle stand? <laughs> yeah, well, two years ago, I think we drove by it three times before. <laughs> yeah, right after the long, All right, who's leading the way? Okay. Exactly. Take out a tire. Looks like it's sharp. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I Who sharpened get, that axe? Uh, it's not really sharp. I'll tell you a story. All my axes that I have on the wall, yeah. I have 42. Serious? 42 axes. 42. So some of them are sharp. Yeah. Like razor sharp. Pretty yeah. sharp. That's a nice little tool. Is it sharp enough? Or? Yeah. No, it's good. That's a nice little tool. <clears throat> um, so, I stopped oh. sharpening them really sharp. So they just kind of, because you know what everybody does? Comes in the garage for a visit. Oh. Pick it up. The first thing they do is run their finger or thumb. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you do that? It's human nature. It's like, that's really hot, really? Yep. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I've had more than one person cut a finger or thumb on an axe just checking to see if it's sharp. So now I don't make them too sharp. I just the ones that I'm using I make sharp. The rest I kind of make dull enough that you shouldn't cut your finger on them. You don't need them that sharp to cut no. paper in. And this with a little bit of radius on there, it's going to hold the edge longer than a flat edge. I even cut myself on one of these. Did you? Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally, it wasn't. I wasn't checking to see how sharp it was. Mm. I was handling it, and I just nicked my, mm. just touched it with my finger. And cut it. Yep. But it's one of those cuts that take a month to heal, mm. and it's tender. 
So we push on another 10 feet? Yeah, I think we're gonna make the final push here. So this is beer bottle stand. This is the beer bottle stand. Trail has opened up and we need the clearing a little bit bigger, dropping some standing dead trees. What's up? Really yeah. Yep. The the photos from last year showed they were patterning here earlier in the year. So, and that trail just to the east of the of the stand, there's a. So that's where we opened up to last year, just yeah. through here, and. Um, I just went and checked it, and it's being traveled on. Yeah, right down here in the long, there's a triangle here, right? Yep, yep. I think that's going to be hard to get out of those ruts. Break time. Made it into Midway. What time is it? 6.30. Exactly. Well, let's have some lunch. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking that a lot. Good idea, Mike. sandwiches with so <laughs> picnic at south stand and you got bug spray i do because if we have to spend the night just keep it <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, let's do it we can always about face it and head back the other way out yep exactly <laughs>
Yes. Okay, we gotta call this, name this stand now. Yes. What are we gonna name this stand, Mike? You can call it the corduroy stand. How about we call it the portable stand? Twisting by corduroy. <laughs> 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 it could have been slippery. From this to this. Yep. Head for a little trip into <laughs> into uh, the bush and see what kind of mud awaits us tomorrow morning. Let's see how there's Mike's quad. It's nice and clean. That'll be short lived. Yeah, those are just about all gone, and this, nothing. Okay, were those ones from last year? Um, I think they were. Something dragged off our containers. I mean, there's enough salt here, it's gonna last until we're done hunting. Uh, it's the same camera as, so. We'll pop the card out and just see what, uh, how many pictures are in there.
So the beer stand bear instead of the Bernstein bears. <laughs> it's the beer beer stand bear. Beer stand bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a workout. It's either it's either too hot or we're getting too old for this. <laughs> How about both? <laughs> uh, well. Oh yeah, you should don't see that that guy coming coming through the bush and that sort of thing. You know, you, it's hard to tell how big he is. Oh, absolutely. It could be, you know, big enough to shoot for sure. Well, and there's so bloody many. Had to thin them out. So when he started coming for the stand, I thought, ah, what the heck. Thin him out.